Hey guys, Cube Hamster here, and welcome to a new Redstone video. I am on uh, Pocket Edition or Windows 10, um, and I want to look at something that's vaguely familiar for the people that follow me on PC. Uh, this is a 2x2 flush door, uh, also known as a jab door. Um, and the reason I'm looking into this is because this is completely different. This is quite big. Uh, because of the removal of quasi connectivity on the windows 10 version these things uh, are quite big also the piston timings are like the pistons are really slow um but uh, i'm actually i hate to admit this having a little bit of fun uh, redesigning these old designs um anyways the reason i'm actually doing this is because like most of the door videos i've seen for pocket edition were not very good uh, like that's not meant as a brag. There's just, you know, a lot of people that have never done Redstone because they've only been playing on Pocket Edition. Um, not to say that this door can probably not be compacted. Like I can, I expect that someone might be able to come up with a better design. Uh, but what I like about this one is just um, the fact that it's button controlled means that you can easily, you know, have some pressure plates or something. Let me just, I'll actually do it. Uh, let's actually hook this up to some pressure plates. So let's get rid of this button. Uh, let's drag this here. And let's grab some stone pressure plates. There we go. So it closes and then opens. And that's not really something most of them had. And also, like, the wiring is just a messy. Um, this thing is actually... Um, pretty dense and some stupid mechanics in here and there but i will show you guys how to build this and uh hopefully uh, everything will work out so let's go okay well in order to build this we need to figure out where we want to place our two by two flush door um so i just have like a little frame here um let's start with the piston layout piston layout is pretty similar to oh pretty similar to the old jab door uh just like having sticky pistons pulling stuff from the side. So we need four pistons there, and then we need to move to the other side and place four pistons there as well. And then we'll put four blocks here. And the idea is that, assuming we just power these with redstone blocks, so you can kind of see what's happening. Um, these things will, will all be powered and you will basically end up with this door and then like these pistons will retract and then once those have retracted these pistons will retract and taking like the uh, the piston with them and then you get your little like tunnel corridor thingy majiggy uh, so that's what we want to start out with and uh, next up what we want to do is we want to add a uh, what is known as a t flip-flop uh, it's kind of like a, a toggleable thing and for that you will need a, a dropper and you have the dropper facing sideways and then the dropper facing upwards and for me it's very difficult to place these uh, just because the windows version is weird um, but yeah dropper facing upward then a dropper facing to the side and then a hopper and this is probably the smallest t flip-flop you can make in the uh, windows 10 and pocket edition version uh, the idea is that if we put an item in here and we grab a button uh, we don't need pistons um, the item will actually you know get dispensed and get put in the bottom hopper then when i click it it will actually move it back into the top hopper so now it's here and then when i click again it gets put in the hopper like it just falls down and gets put back in the bottom one and that's kind of like how you get a toggle uh, using a button super useful um, and then after that what we'll get is redstone going to the sides like this and we also want a comparator this way uh, with a four tick delay repeater and then that's basically to get the signals to go both ways. Okay, the next thing we want to do is actually hook up some of the pistons. Um, I'm gonna start with the bottom ones. The idea is when this pushes forward, these two blocks have to be powered so that they power the piston and they extend forward. And the way we're gonna do that is by 
directing a repeater into them. A repeater that is set to one tick, and on the other side as well. And this thing is going to get powered by a signal from here. So we invert the signal with a torch, and then make it go up here. Uh, but in order to prevent the redstone from going down here, we have to block that off. And then we power this. So that one's powered. And for the other one, we kind of just uh, go the long route, like so. And that's, oh, there we go. So now those those are both powered. Now, as we're powering the, the two pistons above, uh, we have to somehow power these two blocks. And in order for us to do that, what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, go up here like this. And we actually have to use uh, a slab. And slabs are extremely useful because they don't um, power pistons next to it. So if I, like this is powered now, but the piston is not extending. Whereas with this was a, a normal block, uh, you can already kind of see it happening. That piston would actually extend. Uh, so let's grab the slab again. It's just like small tricks like this that are very useful. Um, and then we can just put a repeater here. And then we kind of just go like this. And there's no quasi connectivity on the Pocket Edition version, so there's no no issues there. Uh, next up, we're going to power the uh, four pistons on this side. And the way we do that is by having a four tick that I repeater here. Uh, that will power this block, which will extend this piston. And it will power the redstone down here, which will actually extend this piston and the one next to it. There we go, this one. Seeing as the redstone is actually powering this block as well. So the only one we're missing is the one up here. And we can just kind of go like this. And then uh, like this. And I don't want to interfere with this signal, so I'll just block that off. And then we have this extended. So that's half the door done now. And now only to do the other half. Uh, we still have this like wire down here not hooked up to anything. So let's actually do that. And we're almost done now, by the way. Uh, let's make sure that that doesn't cross connect. Um, but this one's kind of simple. We just invert this signal and hook it up there. So it extends that piston. Then place two <coughs> redstone here so that it extends the bottom two. And then we kind of just work our way up here and power this like this. And then we have all four pistons extended. Uh, this block is messed up. So let's just quickly put it there. And now if all goes well, if we press this button, it should retract. And I forgot the ceiling there. And, and now it extends. And let's put a block there. And here, and here, and here. So that we kind of cover up all the redstone except for the pistons. And there you go, a button controlled 2x2 two two flush door, also known as jab door. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and managed to get your 2x2 two two flush door to work. Uh, if you did, be sure to leave a like on the video and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now behind me, I have a 3x3 three three door for when your 2x2 two two doors are just not good enough. And if you're interested in seeing this door in action and figuring out how to build it, uh, then you can click in the annotations or in the cards or in the description uh, to the video for this 3x3 three three door. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed and I will see you all uh, later. Bye bye.